Hey guys, um, back again. I think last time I explained pull up um, while we were calibrating the standard, so um, I just wanted to touch on a few more things about that uh, before we move on. So I'm looking at some of the ones we've already calibrated. Um, let's take a look at one that has a, a less friendly score, say 92. You may see in your samples things with uh, 70s, 80s, it happens. Um, so I'm zooming in and I can tell here that this is the 114 and that's where the 114 belongs, that's where the 214 belongs, that's where the 250 belongs. Um, so I'm pretty sure that 40 belongs here and 20 belongs here. Well, what we could do, there are a few different techniques for getting uh, the software to recognize those. Uh, one option we have is right-clicking and clicking on Add Peak, right-clicking, clicking Add Peak, then right-clicking and clicking Update Calibration to see if um, it likes it that uh, it likes it like that. But it clearly doesn't, so um, I will delete these peaks. Sometimes you'll have success with that, sometimes you won't. Another option is fixing uh, the 60, right? So telling the computer I know for sure that that is 60, so make new predictions based on that new information. Um, or I would do it at 114, depending on how confident I feel. Let's try 60, fixing at 60. And okay, now it gets the 40 right, it gets the 20 wrong. So remembering our trick from last time, control, right click, I'm sorry, left click and drag over. Um, but you you may have noticed, uh, and if you don't, you can go back and rewatch the screencast, that when we set at 60, it actually changed a few things over here. Um, for example, it is now uh, designating 100 at some place where there's pull-up, um, and the same thing actually for 80. So here's what I'll do here, is I'll delete peak at 80, move 80 over to where it belongs, delete the peak at 100, move 100 over to where it belongs, um, and that is not 120, that's actually 114, so I will um, fix that size at 114, zoom out, and let's see if that changed anything. So you'll notice every single time you fix a size anywhere, it may change um, uh, peaks at other locations. So again, it got the 20 wrong. Okay, so now I think we're right. Now I think 20 is where it is, 40 is where it is, 60, and so on. Everything looks pretty good. All right, let's check 528's score, 97, exactly what it should be. So just a few things um, that this has brought up. You may need to tweak uh, the standard quite a bit, um, and, and every time you change it, it may change other parts in the standard. So um, you'll uh, get the feeling, you'll get, you'll get a feel for, for this and sort of the fastest, most efficient ways to do this. Um, but ju yeah, just keep in mind that if you fix peaks, uh, it, it may uh, update the calibration and change things that you didn't want to change. So uh, again, it may be the best thing every time to zoom out, make sure there are no question marks or uh, uh, other peaks that are uh, clearly over designated as pull up or designated over pull up peaks. Um, and again, make sure that the score looks good. All right, uh, I think that's all I have to talk about with the calibrating. Um, feel free to, to post uh, comments um, if you have any additional questions, and I'll either answer them in the comments, or if they weren't a new screencast, I'll make a new screencast. Again, close, and save your work. Save your work, save your work, save your work. <laughs> I have made the mistake of not saving for several hours and the computer has shut down on me. So also learn from that mistake, please. <clears throat> All right, next time I think we will talk about um, designing a panel.